and interesting people on harness racing's ever-widening scene. We start at home with the trotting world's number one citizen, owner, breeder, trainer, and driver, Delvin Miller, and a special project of his that has become a showcase of American life as it was lived in an earlier era. Ellie Sarama brings us the story. Delvin Miller is one of the most respected gentlemen in the sport of harness racing. He has achieved and accomplished some of the highest honors along with being a member of the Living Hall of Fame. For the past seven decades, he has made history in the sport, and along with his brother Albert, has established a foundation to pass on to future generations a part of their history. Meadowcroft Village is a museum of rural 19th century America, with authentic and recreated scenes from pioneer days on the farm. The exhibits preserve the way of life of the Scotch-Irish settlers and commemorate the racing career of Delvin Miller's grandfather, as well as the modern-day legend himself. Located in Avella, Pennsylvania at the Miller family homestead, the village has become the focus of Delvin and his brother Albert's lives. Much more than a hobby or an ambitious project, it has evolved into a symbol of their pride. My grandfather bought all the land close to him back in the 20s, maybe in the, right before the 20s, during the early 20s, to get all the coal underneath. And he sold all this coal at one time. And this land was some of the land that was stripped afterwards. You know, they, they took the coal out from underneath it. At our entrance was a tipple. Then they stripped the top land, and this land, we bought it back because, you know, some of our old land. It was settled by the Millers in 1792. And uh, they'd come here from Ireland. So uh, my brother used to, he was interested in uh, young people, had uh, Christian Endeavor kids and uh, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, and he thought it'd be nice to have a place where he could come out and picnic and stuff. Well, we started that, and then we had the idea, we had the old Miller School back in the old days that if you'd give the uh, township a piece of your land, they'd name it after your family. So it was Miller School, there was about five uh, schools in this township. And I went my first grade, by the way, to Miller School, 1920 and 21. And I think it was great because you could get a little smarter as the years went by because you'd listen to the eighth grade of your site and you were nearly smart enough that you could go through the later grades pretty good. Delvin is an avid collector of harness memorabilia and racing history. Beyond this extensive exhibit, the village contains modes of transport from years gone by. And it's a joy to have Delvin Miller explain and demonstrate the finer points of this beautifully preserved collection. One of the real concerns of the Miller brothers is the future of Meadowcroft and how it can best serve the community in which it thrives. Somebody wants to give us a nice old church, we'd like to move an old church here because that was a part of the society in those days, it is today. It was big in those days because they had so, uh, church socials and, and things like that. It was a big part of the community. And we, you know, we got barber shop. We got about everything that they had in those days. We got a cobbler shop. We got a parts of a harness shop, blacksmith shop. So we've got everything, but it all still, as I said before, it all goes back to that wheel that started turning years ago and it's still turned. It even if it wasn't for the wheel, the airplanes wouldn't go either. The only thing don't have wheels on them is the rockets. <laughs> Meadowcroft Village has become the focal point of Delvin Miller's life a man recognized around the world as Harness Racing's goodwill ambassador. It serves as a tribute and a crowning achievement to a man who has devoted himself fully to the sport he loves. <laughs>